guys I am back at it again what is good the summer is over and it is the last week of August right now and um, yeah not really living at large right now but I had an amazing summer Italy Greece but we are back to reality and we have a huge month ahead of us both for Lorena and it is fashion month so there's obviously some stuff I'm doing as well as an influencer um, so I want to take you guys along with how I'm prepping for everything because it has been quite a hectic past two weeks. There's a lot going on. I'm working on a luxury line for my brand Lorena and um, I'm trying to plan all my looks for fashion week. So I'm going to take you guys along probably a week vlog. It is Wednesday today so five or six days or four or five days. We'll see how it goes. And I wanted to come back for you guys on camera because I miss you. There you go. The first thing is first, I'm gonna show you guys my look. Probably on this side of my room, that is way less messy. So I'm wearing this blouse here, it is from Naked. And it's a little small, but it looks good when it's tucked in. Then these pants are also from Naked. They're kind of that like colored denim that's really in style right now. And this belt is my mom's vintage belt. These glasses are, um, I'll get the name for you. And I'm actually going to go to my supplier right now, my fabric supplier. Uh, and my shoes are cheekies. So I'm going to go to my fab fabric supplier. I'm going to take you guys along with me. And I have a surprise for you that I just got yesterday. So I'm really excited to share with you guys. Let's go. And the surprise is... Dun, 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 my new car. <laughs> I'm so happy I've wanted this car for so long. It's not really my car, it's my mom's car, but it's my car because I'm gonna be driving it. She got it for me to drive, I guess, unless she needs to borrow it. So forever grateful for that. Thank you, mom. Thank you so much. Guys, I fucking love it. It's so big and like boxy and masculine, which is basically just, that sums me up, I'd say. Anyway, um, so I actually just went to the appointment and I had to film this after, so. Guys, I went and picked up the fabrics, and basically what I had to do there was I had to figure out what fabrics I want to use for my luxury line. I tried one fabric from there in black, but then I wanted something more shiny. So I went to some stores on Queen Street, was looking for a stretch silk, and I found two, one in like a champagne and one in a black. But like apparently, a uh, silk doesn't really come in stretch, or it's rare. So I don't really know if they sold me the correct fabric or they just overcharged me and they charged me like 30 or 29 dollars a yard for stretch silk but um i went to my like main supplier today at the and at the showroom i saw a bunch of the fabrics that they have and honestly the thing is like for the most options of colors um they have this really nice it's a satin i can't remember what it's called satin something and it's like in between, I guess, silk and satin. Um, so I think it's my best bet for right now. Obviously, it's hard to like get exactly what you want, um, considering that I'm just sticking to a supplier that only gets their fabrics from like the United States. But you know, as I grow, I will definitely try and tap into, you know, or maybe I'll go to some other fabric shows this year, which I actually I might do, or in the new year, um, to scout really unique, cool, you know, sustainable fabrics that are super eco-friendly, but really, innovative I would say more like technical and innovative fabrics because if I'm gonna be you know creating a luxury brand I think it's really good to invest in really unique materials that I know my customer or um, my potential customers would appreciate in their garments anyway that being said it was a most it was a pretty successful like trip or excursion in there um, now I'm gonna go work at a coffee shop Let's see. Can't see. Okay guys, what's up? So my battery died yesterday, or no, my battery didn't die. My camera started to get like super fucked up. Um, probably because I've dropped it a couple times. But that's my old vlogging camera. This is my new one, but I really like my old one because it's so small and compact. It's the RX100 by Sony. So I'm gonna bring it in today to get fixed. Um, as you can see, my hair's wet. No, I didn't shower. Well, I kind of accidentally put my hair in the water or wet my hair. And then I remembered that I'm getting my hair colored today. So I'm going to be going and doing that. Um, so I, you're not supposed to wash your hair. You're supposed to have dirty hair when you get it colored. Um, so that's that. 
yeah, so I'm gonna go run a bunch of errands, then I'm gonna get my nails done. Cause I realize it's been like over two weeks. I'm just trying to wait to as close as New York Fashion Week to do them, but next week I'm not gonna have any time. So I'm gonna do it today. I have a shoot today as well, and one tomorrow, which I'll talk about later. Um, and I'll show you guys what I eat and stuff this week. But first, Bella, do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk, Bella? Come on, look at her head. Look at that cute little head of hers. Bella, let's go, come on. Okay, so I'm gonna go to figure out the camera tomorrow because I realize if I try and squeeze that in today, I'm not gonna have time. But I just started making lunch and I almost forgot that I was supposed to show you guys. So, so for lunch, I actually made this, uh, someone screenshotted it from Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Um, so I guess she eats this. Kind of cool. Um, I actually have four. There you go. So I can show you. So here we have a medley of different things. So we've got a boiled egg, a full avocado, a pack of smoked salmon, and some olives. So this is a very protein packed meal. And I also had some... I have this like turmeric pita wrap that I'm obsessed with. Had half of that, even though I shouldn't have carbs for no reason. Um, but I did. So this will probably keep me full until later. I'm just drizzling a little bit of olive oil on it. And guys, it wouldn't be complete without my new favorite thing, which makes everything taste good since I fucking hate cooking. Not hate it, I'm just like, I'm not into it quite yet. Um, but I discovered this, I'm sure you guys have seen this before. It is the, I don't know why I did that. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. It is the Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Sesame Dressing or Seasoning. It's salty, it's tasty, it's flavorful, and it's exactly what this little thing needs. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this and uh, I'm gonna go get my nails done. I'll show you guys what color I'm doing. I already know because my friend Muna got hers this color and I thought it was perfect for fashion week because it's like neutral but also kind of like glam um so i also wanted to share another little update with you guys um before i forget i got so i just got this in the mail and i went to telio yesterday which is my supplier so i got a few samples of the fabrics here in the colors that i'm interested in so obviously we're going to do like a nice neutral color which is like an ivory screen which is so stunning wasn't my idea but uh it's been growing on me and i'm seeing now that emerald is very in for fall <clears throat> then i really like this oh, i think this is the wrong yellow maybe it just looks different because it's bigger honestly it's important to get fabric swatches because you can really see the difference and have the fabric like falls um i feel like she gave me the wrong color so <laughs> anyway whatever this pale yellow but i think i'm going for a paler yellow this blue, which I'm obsessed with. It's kind of like a steel baby blue, if that makes sense. And then this nice creamy color. So yeah, so these are the fabrics that we're gonna be using. Really beautiful. I'm not gonna show you guys any of the designs on camera, but once you see how the Fashion Week showroom is going in the next vlog, I will show you guys the designs because I'll have the book there for you with all these swatches in it so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. Alrighty guys, so as you can see my hair is done now. Looks really good, I think. I'm walking on the streets with everyone staring at me, which is fine. But basically now I'm running late because I have to go and meet this girl for a shoot. Sorry, I don't know why that was zoomed in. My hair is like super puffy, but my hair is done, so that's good. Um, basically the shoot that I have to do is because I have to make a submission tomorrow morning for a feature in a magazine. This is what it takes. <laughs> so you're just gonna be like down here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Literally. <laughs> you might actually need to sit like on your on like, your booty. On your booty. Okay, let's
Alrighty guys, so today is a shoot day for Lorena. We are shooting two new patterns and two new styles that we have, um, which I'm really excited to share with you. And we're gonna launch them in literally a week, so by the time this vlog is out. Um, the whole team is here right now. We have Ali here. Whoops. Um, our cameraman, or camera woman, Hello. Christina. Hello. <laughs> and we have our makeup artist, Liv. And we have stuff. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. My bad. I'm like blank for a second. We're shooting at Loft today, which is in the east end of Toronto. Yeah, we're really excited. so well I was really really happy um, we only had three hours to do hair makeup and have everyone shoot and do video stuff so we wrapped up like five minutes before and then it cleaned up so everything turned out really good any of you are watching this vlog even if you're not watching the vlog which you probably aren't necessarily um, I want to say thank you thank you so much because it was all collaborative today and I really really appreciate that um, and I think it's super awesome that everyone is down to support one another and also we got some really good content for everyone to kind of use on their own channels so that was good um, I just picked up this mirror right here which I'm gonna be using for my pop-up shop my Toronto Fashion Week pop-up shop so I'm trying to kind of create this really unique vision um, for the space that we get because it's all white and we get like a few different things to help set up um, you know and display all of our products but i really want to create like a vibe so that people kind of get the concept of the brand i'm like using my hand a lot so people get the concept of the brand when they walk in so i got this um and yeah i want to create like a whole concept so i have a few other things to pick up but this was the first thing i picked up i have to pick up a carpet on monday and then set everything up on tuesday so it's gonna be a lot i have to print all the stuff that i need to put around the mirror which is gonna be more like a mood board um but yeah Good morning guys, what is good? It is Saturday today. Um, I went out for I went out for Binta's birthday yesterday and um, we actually ended up having dinner super late so I didn't go out after, which I feel really good about, but I'm still exhausted today, as you can see from this. Um, but I decided I'm gonna do two workouts today because I didn't work out yesterday. Well, kind of like two workouts. I'm doing Pilates um, at Equinox at 10 and then I'm gonna do F45 at 11 so yeah I'm excited to get fit and strong today and then I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of my day probably just uh, do some important stuff that I need for my pop-up organize myself a bit and then maybe see some friends later we'll see I've literally been doing social media work for the past like three hours which is fine because it's super nice out I just set myself out Right there, had a glass of kombucha, and I'm having lunch. I thought I'd show you guys what I'm having because you like to know. So we have this here, which is salmon that I baked. Guys, I'm a chef now. And broccoli with this miso gravy on it, which I love. I have it at Fresh. It doesn't taste exactly the same, but it's really good. And it's either that or diet cheese or tomato sauce that I put on my broccoli to give it flavor, so this tastes amazing. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat this, do some more work, and maybe someone will message me to hang out tonight. We'll see. Okay, so the light is a little harsh, but I just wanna show you guys my look. So I'm wearing these white jeans, they're from Naked, in a size 34, super cute, very flattering, and cropped. And then this top is actually also from Naked. And it's silk and it has like an open back, and I got it in a size small. And then I'm wearing like a dark Charlotte Tilbury lip color, um, which I believe is Moss, Kate Moss. I will be back on the vlog tomorrow, um, but yeah, I'm gonna go up now. Um, today is Sunday. I was a little, you know, hungover today. This is a turmeric latte, by the way, so yummy. Turmeric's really good for like anti-inflammation 
and as you can see my face is slightly inflamed i just picked up this carpet i don't know if you guys can see it it's in the back it's for my pop-up um i'm working with care design so they're actually letting me rent the item for free and in exchange for some you know posts on instagram which is honestly amazing because you know i would have had to run this anyway um but i'm excited and this is going to be really big and like toronto fashion week it's a good first step um it's not a show so that'll be something that maybe we'll do in the near future um not so near future but near future with the luxury line um but right now i think just having this um, it's gonna be good and I'm really hoping that next year or sorry next season when I'm in London we can do the designer showrooms there fingers crossed honestly if we put in the work for the luxury line I think it'll execute itself very well okay guys I just picked up my stuff so I'm gonna show you because it looks really good he just showed me inside um, so this is the decal that I was talking about I do not look great today um, so it says you queen, which is really cute because I'm going to put this on the mirror so people can take photos. And then we have LR babe. So yeah, just a fun little touch to hopefully get people interacting with our setup a little bit more. Um, it's all the little details, honestly, that count. So this is my first time doing this, um, but I have like three other pop-ups this month. So this will be like a good way for us to kind of see what works and then... Um, we'll probably just keep in mind what works and what doesn't work for an upcoming pop-up where you can shop a bunch of Toronto designers um, or Canadian designers and it's all kind of um, about sustainability. So yeah, it's all a learning experience, guys. It's just figuring it out and um, trial and error. Good morning, guys. It is Monday today and it is Labor Day. But I'm in Toronto and I'm working and I have to set up the pop-up marketplace for Toronto Fashion Week that starts tomorrow in like three hours today. So just taking it easy, trying to get my body back, feeling good or too feeling good because uh, yesterday I literally could not move after I ran my errands in the morning. Like picking up the carpet and the decal, I was just like out of commission. This morning I went to a bar class at Barbell and then I did 50 minutes of cardio, not on like the stair master, I just did it on the treadmill on incline, but I don't know, made me feel good. Anyway, so I'm also going to continue and show you guys what I'm going to eat for my breakfast slash lunch slash just a smoothie really, um, but I'm kind of going to go over my morning routine because I'm going to do it today since I want to kind of get my week started off on the right foot. So whenever I wake up, the first thing I do or consume is usually, hello? Hello, Christina. Yes? Hi, this is Dean from Playback. How are you? From where? From Playback. You sent us a message. You got scanned for $7,990. Yes, I did. Well, that was fucked. Um, basically, it got scanned a couple days ago. Um, and then, ugh, stupid me, like, I searched it up after the, after the matter, um, because I really couldn't even, like, go on my phone while this whole thing was happening, um, and I found out that there have been a few cases like this that have happened in Canada, and the number is, like, a Calgary number, so if you ever receive a Calgary number claiming that they are associated with the CRA, um, it's false, and also never, I know this sounds so stupid, but, like, <laughs> I normally don't fall for this stuff, but I was kind of scared shitless and I dealt with it for like three and a half hours So I was really like mentally drained um, They're very persuasive. So they make you think that like they're legit but Anyway enough of that i um, back to this so hot water with lemon. I like to drink this sometimes I put apple cider vinegar um, But I'm gonna go ahead and make my smoothie um, So we're gonna make a typical smoothie that I like to make every morning and I've been trying to do this every single day for the past week just because it's healthy, it's nutritious, and it fills me up. So I'm gonna have to move my camera and I'll show you guys in a sec. So guys, we 
we arrived at the space and it's a little smaller than I expected. And it's kind of outside, so I'll show you from here. So, I don't really know how I feel about this. I think the carpet that we got is way too big. Um, we're gonna try and set this up and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. 